So we had the Monta Vista. Yes, we have Monta Vista. So we're Monta Vista Software. We are a subsidiary of Cavium, and we're based here locally in uh, San Jose, California. We are the software division of for Cavium, and basically we operate autonomously. What we provide is a uh, carrier-grade software solution of embedded Linux. Uh, it's an open source distribution, uh, and as part of that, we incorporate a, um, uh, yeah. a, a wide range of software products and services and professional services, all, the, all highly integrated uh, into a uh, carrier-grade solution. So, uh, right here, for example, you run Linux. That's correct. What you're looking at there is a Xilinx board. That's a Xilinx Zinc 7000 board. And uh, that includes the, uh, that has an ARM V7 ARM V on it, I believe. It's a dual core processor. And that's running our carrier grade CGE6 version, uh, which is a based on a 2.4 uh, Linux distribution. Uh, we are now coming out, right now as we speak, uh, are in the process of developing our uh, seventh generation carrier grade edition. Uh, and that's scheduled to be really early access release in December of 2013 and full production uh, sometime later in Q1. So uh, I think I've seen Montavista Linux running on the Arcos 2005 or something like that. Is, uh, how old is the history with Montavista? Is that is well, old, Mont right? Mont Montavista's history uh, dates all the way back to 1999. So we were one of the very first uh, embedded Linux distribu distributions uh, in the market. Uh, and the company was originally founded by a gentleman by the name of Jim Reddy. So it's, uh, you know, we have a tremendous history, we have a tremendous ecosystem. We partner with companies like Xilinx, uh, like Broadcom, uh, Qualcomm, uh, Marvell, and, uh, and of course our parent company, Cavium. So, uh, has it always been part of Cavium, Cavium since 99? No, 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 no. Uh, Montevista was acquired uh, just a couple of years ago by Cavium. And um, the distribution allowed uh, uh, it, it, it was to, uh, uh, kind of a dual benefit. You know, Cavium is a uh, network processor company. They were looking to have a solid Linux distribution that they could uh, uh, that they could uh, influence, and uh, subsequently they purchased uh, Monta Vista uh, and have leveraged the technology. Um, have also allowed uh, Monta Vista to operate autonomously, and Monta Vista actually is able to operate autonomously, such that we have our distribution on other cores, such as MIPS, ARM, PowerPC, and x86. But the best one is ARM, right? Yes. Well, there you really? go. Yes. <laughs> there Why? You go. Uh, well, ARM, a lot of reasons, because ARM right now is probably one of the fastest growing technologies uh, that, that, you know, in the marketplace. You've seen uh, an interesting adoption rate away from just uh, intelligent handheld devices and small mobile devices that is now being adopted uh, uh, in big iron devices and the telcos medical instrumentation and, and devices such as that. So with the proliferation, or rather the adoption, uh, mass adoption of the ARM technology, uh, it's becoming uh, more or less a, um, a de facto standard to ensure that you have your Linux distribution you know, partnering with ARM. And in fact, Monta Vista is a very close partner with ARM and the Lenoro organization as well. So why did, did you start doing embedded Linux in 99? Why? Well, that's something you'd have to go back to uh, uh, asking Jim Reddy about. But I think the basic, uh, I think the basic premise behind that was that um, Linux provided uh, uh, a solution, alternative solution to v very expensive um, proprietary operating systems, and companies were looking to get away uh, and get away from expensive royalty-based systems, say like a, a VXWorks or a WinCE, where uh, you had a, a good operating system, but the costs associated with it, when you put it on a handheld device and you're shipping millions of units, became that became somewhat prohibitive, or became so expensive that you know just the, the return on their investment wasn't worth it. So Linux offered a tremendous alternative solution to say a proprietary operating system. Not to mention just the the tremendous uh, ecosystem that Linux provides. Um, it only made sense for for Monta Vista to uh, you know capitalize on that momentum and you know come up with a new uh, commercial distribution. So how many devices run Monta Vista Linux? Well, today there's over millions of devices that have, that actually run on uh, that currently run Monta Vista Linux. Uh, we have uh, products dating back to you know medical equipment uh, manufacturers, uh, all types of different commercial communication and, and communication type products. So it's it's in the tens of millions that have actually sold. Um, and, and so, it, and, and, and continues to grow.
and uh, where's the future? Well, the future is bright. The future is bright. Uh, we are now in a position where we are rebuilding this organization and have, uh, uh, again, building out our ecosystem and leveraging the arm, uh, the arm relationship as a way to uh, uh, gain access to new uh, partners uh, and, and land new customers. So the, um, the, the, the future is bright as we continue to expand our customer base and, uh, and become a much bigger influence in the open source community. So, uh, may I ask, uh, what do you do? Uh, I'm part of the manager of Software Engineering Group at Monta Vista. And I'm um, working on the CG7 and kind of features for, for Carrier Grid. So, do you, for example, you, you work on uh, making it work there, for example? Yeah. yeah. And uh, if, if you can come over there and say. So, so what's the challenge in, uh, in working on this platform, for example? What's the CPU there? Exactly? What are the challenges? Uh, I'm um, seven. So is it dual core Cortex? Yeah, dual core Cortex. Cortex A A seven. A seven, yeah. So um, how is Monta Vista Linux used differently, let's say, for uh, than how how is it differentiate itself compared to some other Linux? So Monta um, is the only commercial grade Linux which is provided right now, like apart from Red Hat, and I think uh, Monta Vista provides it for the embedded Linux, and we are mainly targeting telco telco customers. So I don't see, apart from Monta Vista, there's no other telco providers. I think. All right, and uh, how, how is it different from Android? Android, Android sits on Linux, so it sits on Linux. So you need to have a base platform on it. So the ecosystem of Android works together with all the other Linux and ARM, well, or but Android is a distribution that actually is mainly targeting intelligent handheld devices and small mobile products and that. So. Our focus is more on, on, on the telco environment, so it's, it's a much a different target market. Um, Android's ecosystem is, again, uh, uh, targeted towards individuals that are making um, uh, different applications that can be accessed through your cell phone, for example, uh, or um, a, an intelligent walkie-talkie, for example, something of that nature. Uh, Monta Vista Linux is, 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 a, is a much different product. We're on a different, on, on, on a different scale as we're focused on the big telco carriers, individuals that are making uh, switches, routers, uh, gateways, um, you know, metropolitan type switches and things of that nature. So it's, it's just a completely different target market. And the way we differentiate ourselves is, you know, basically uh, our distribution is, um, uh, we, we provide a complete solution set, if you will, that includes uh, the, the IDE, tool suite, commercial off-the-shelf applications that are all test, highly tested and integrated, and we provide what we call a real-time operating system. So it's, 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 it's a, just a different target market, say, than Android's based uh, pursuing than what Montevis is pursuing. All right, so uh, I'd like to talk with Cavium, ask them what they're doing. Fantastic. Well, you can go to, uh, they are at the Hyatt uh, here, and they're in uh, Suite 1401. All right, I'll go check it out. And uh, we're still here at Monta Vista. So, who, who are you? Yes, I'm here somewhere. I'm covering a Monta Vista Software Asia Pacific region. So, what do you do? Um, I'm responsible for both sales and um, technical support. So, some customers in where? Yeah, um, actually, if you go into uh, Monta Vista Software website, they're uh, led by our president. Asia Pacific region is listed the second uh, biggest region. So we are leading the market. Second biggest after which one? Um, you know, under like under the, our president name. You can my, you can see right. my name. So what kind of things uh, are you doing uh, right now? So we are um, vendor of uh, open source Linux distribution called uh, Monta Vista Linux. And yeah. the major customers are in the uh, um, you know, telecom market or networking market. So there's lots of customers in the Asia Pacific market? I would say no, not a lot of. Um, say just three digit of customers. Three? Yeah. And But they do lots of things? Yeah, um, we focus on the you know, uh, networking and the customer uh, who is working in the uh, you know, telecom market and uh, driven by you know, um, NTT Docomo or you know, Korean telecoms. 
So those guys are pretty much big customers, and uh, we are supporting those customers, manufacturers, you know, um, servers, routers, switch vendors, those kind of things. And NTT is big. Yeah, of course. Uh, it's huge. <laughs> huge. And uh, does that mean all of their stuff is using your software or is part of it? Or how does that work? A part of, part of it. Part of because, it. Because you know, NTT does pick up uh, many of vendors. But um, every single vendor has to qualify the co uh, performance, service level, and we are selected one of those vendors uh, as a carrier-grade Linux distributor. All right. So what's going to happen in the future? Future? Uh, leveraging this quality um, um, no, we have, uh, now we are heading towards to crowd space, uh, including a part of ITs, and uh, um, you know, uh, the ARM, Chip core will be performing much faster, uh, and we are able to provide um, you know, virtualization software as well as uh, you know fast real-time based uh, solutions on Linux. So as there's more and more faster and more faster ARM processors here, uh, this means more work for you. Yes, of course. Yeah, no, it's not only working, but the customers demand or market demands. Market always demands faster, uh, better and more reasonable prices. Uh, we are the leading vendor with leveraging open source software.